This is a eight by eight by three inch chunk of ambrosia maple. I've had it for a long time. I don't remember exactly where I got it, but it was uh, one of the local woodworking stores. So here's something interesting is about to happen. Something that uh, well, is potentially dangerous, as you'll see. Take a listen. Right there. Those really slight taps. Did you hear that? I heard it, but I didn't react to it. And I didn't really feel it. Another pass. Now I heard it and I felt it that time. So I had to stop the lathe and figure out what was going on there. And sure enough, staples. An interesting thing, if you go back to the beginning of the video when I'm making this uh, into a round blank, you can actually see the staple in the side, but it was completely invisible to me. Until I heard it with the, uh, with the tool hitting it. Could have been dangerous, could have been bad. Gotta wear that personal protective equipment. Even though it didn't come flying out, there was a piece of that staple that uh, went flying somewhere. No telling. Very strange that I didn't see that staple. Because it's right there, plain as day, if you go back and look. There was a couple of very small areas that I didn't cut off with the uh, bandsaw. And the staple was right there in the middle of one of those spots. Interesting. I had a little bit of tear out when I was uh, approaching from the other direction with the tool, so that's what I'm looking at right here is the tear out's gone. Just switching directions helped quite a bit. And at this point I haven't really decided uh, the final shape of this bowl. Wasn't sure if I was going to keep the bottom squared off or make it a nice round one. So I kind of procrastinated on that decision by uh, deciding where the foot was going to be. 
then I finally figured it out. After battling with that hickory last week, I decided to go a little bit easier route this week. Just a nice curved, traditional looking bowl. I didn't show it, but I had sanded uh, the bottom of the bowl here up to 220 grits. And here I'm just applying some denatured alcohol to raise the grain. Uh, make the little fuzzy fibers come out. And then went at it again with some more 220 to get rid of those. And then I broke out the axe. Hit it with the abrasive, uh, abrasive paste and then the polish. Made it all nice and shiny, but not too shiny. Just right. Well, before I reverse mount this and start working on the inside, let's take a look at what some of you very talented people have been up to. Jake Foster. These are amazing pieces. Jake's got a uh, YouTube channel. It's called Mind to Made. It's a fairly new channel. Go check him out and tell him I said hi. Shane Lahr made these, and I hope I'm saying your last name right, Shane. The Shane's only been turning for just a few months, I believe uh, June, July time frame. So, great job. Just amazing. And I want to take this time to thank all of my subscribers, old and new. I really appreciate you. And if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Help this channel to keep growing. Helps me out, and I appreciate it. I threw the question out there in the last video about uh, the video speed, whether you all liked it uh, normal speed or sped up. And overwhelmingly, the feedback was normal speed is what you want. So, for all the turning portions of my videos, for the most part, they're going to be normal speed. Some of the other work that I do, like uh, when I was at the bandsaw, I'll speed that up to maybe twice the speed. Just to get the video going. That sort of thing.
but f from what I read, those of you that are fellow wood turners out there, you like to see things at normal speed just because I guess you get a better idea uh, when you're at the lathe yourself how fast to approach something. That makes a lot of sense to me. Happy to oblige. And I finish up with a few passes with the negative rake scraper just to take out the, the little bumps and valleys. The terrain features inside the bowl that don't belong there. And pretty much the same process. Sand to 220, use the denatured alcohol to deburr, sand again with 220 and then hit it with the axe abrasive paste and then polish. Let me know what you all think. I think it's a pretty one. Thanks for watching, and stick around for a minute. Semper Fi.